All right, so it is time to start building out the rod locker. Last night, I made this template here of this gap right here, and I even drilled out 12 holes. I drilled out 12. I went with the maximum amount of holes that we could do, and 12 was max. I could probably shove one right here, but I was checking out 12, and I don't think I'm gonna do 12. They're just too close together, and 12 will easily fit on this end. But on this other end down here, I made another template here. And like I said, you could easily fit 12 rods here, but you also have to think about the reels. The reels are gonna take up a whole lot of space. If they're that butted up close together, they probably won't fit. So I think I'm just gonna do nine. Evenly space out nine rod holders, and I think that should be good. I probably carry six or seven rods at the most, so. I have two extra for a buddy with his poles, so nine it is. So I'm gonna scrap this design, retrace it. But before we do that, I wanna start framing out this box. I'm gonna put this piece here. So I need this to be square. And the boat is curved right here. There's a nice little curve. So I can't build a curved box. I'm just not that good. It wouldn't be that strong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach this piece of angle as close as that edge as I can. And then I'm gonna run this one out an inch or two just to make it all square. So first off, I need to cut this. Let's cut it right there. So I'm gonna be having a hinge on this edge here so I would like to have this end butted all the way in as close as possible but that would mean this much of the box wouldn't have a hinge so what I'm thinking is doing it this much here that way a hinge can fit right behind it let's do it right there so I was gonna do the rod locker where it opened up like this long ways it would be easier to put the rods in from outside the boat when you're outside the boat messing with your rods, you open it this way, you have to reach over, it's very awkward. So I was like, okay, cool, I will open it this way. But since this rod locker is gonna be so long, I don't think I'm gonna do that. The lid will be really flimsy, and when I open it, it'll be like five and a half feet tall. So that's just ridiculous. So I'm just gonna do it this way. To add in this piece, I'm also breaking one of my rules I didn't wanna break which was keep all the framing on two levels. To add this one in, I'm gonna have to go under it. So I am under this one, and this one is under this one. Three layers. I would like to be able to put this one on top. To put this one on top of this, I would have to cut a slot into this, and that just jeopardizes the strength of this angle. So I'm not gonna do that. So it's gonna go under, and I'll just have to deal with it being in three layers. I should be able to make it work. All right, next up, I need to measure how far that gap is down here and match it with the gap down here. 10, three quarter, so 10, three quarter. I lost the pencil I literally just had in my hand. It's gone. So I'm gonna try to mark it with this blade. I'm pretty good at losing stuff that I just had in my hands. Do it all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and add another rivet to each end just to make that somewhat stronger. And then I'm going to make supports going across from here to here. Just to make it stronger, because right now that's way too flimsy. Way too flimsy. I wonder if I'll need down supports because we have ribs right here. So what I'm thinking with these is I could attach to that and then attach it to the rib. And if I do that, that should add a lot of up and down strength. That's gonna be ugly though inside the box. When I open the lid, you'll definitely see that. I don't know, we'll see about that. I'm gonna do the cross supports first and see how strong that makes it and then I'll decide.
I really need the other piano hinge. I need to attach the piano hinge first before attaching all these. What if I added another piece of aluminum on top of this one? I would lose that gap I just made though. So I got some flat bar here that came with the kit. It is a little bit thicker, but I'm thinking to make this the same level, I'm going to add this flat bar on top of that. I don't know where else I would use this flat bar in the project, so I think I'm gonna do that. It does suck that it's a little bit higher. I don't know if y'all can see that on the GoPro, but. But see, if I added another angle piece to this, then it would fit, it would be the perfect height. All right, so I'm happy with that hinge placement. There's still a decent enough gap to get it in, so that is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this where it needs to be cut. Just to play it safe, always cut bigger. That just is barely bigger. I wonder if I could just make it tight and fit. Oh yeah, beautiful. That's why you always cut bigger, people. That is a nice, tight, clean fit. Now we're level, the lid will sit level. So now I'm way happier with this. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and add some rivets to this. Okay, I'm stoked with that. We're all level again. The lid will sit flat. Made it somewhat a little bit stronger. And I'm also thinking once I attach this piano hinge, it's gonna be up like this. So I'm wondering how much this is gonna make that stronger as well. Cause this will be running down the length of that. It will be riveted together. So I'm thinking that that is gonna make it stronger as well. Maybe, I mean, at, at least a little bit. So I just got two piano hinges ordered. Got one for this side and then one for that side as well. And I'm gonna be using the last of what I have here on this patch there. So it sucks now because I can't do any more work on this part. I can still make all the rod tubes and box off this section. And then of course make this section down here. So we still have stuff to do, but it sucks I can't finish this today. Once I get the hinges in, we'll finish that off, get this all supported, make it super strong. I need to do the floor. I totally forgot about the floor. So I think we're gonna go ahead and tackle that. Another thing is I want the water to be able to run down this crack on the side of the foam. It has to go under the foam. So if this foam, it's tight up against the floor, it's not gonna go under, which will be a problem. So there is a rib that runs right through here all the way to the back of the boat. And if the water can't get to that rib, it's just gonna stay here, which is not good. If you look under the boat, there's three ribs. Same thing for this rib, it runs right down the side of the core. I'm happy the ribs aren't under the core, but I just need to make sure the water can actually get through there. There's the little things I'm worried about here. The little things you have to be worried about. You don't want your boat collecting water ever. You want it all to drain out the back and you can bilge pump it out. So I think I'm gonna shorten all these pieces of foam on the edge. That way it leaves a little narrow pathway for all the water to leak out. All right, so there is one done. Not the prettiest, but I can now see that rib right there. And that is enough space for the water to run down into. So that will work. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that to the rest of these and then do it to this side as well. I don't know how well y'all can hear me with the rain going on, but uh, I got all these pieces cut out. I can see the ribs. So that is guaranteed water runoff. So I'm stoked about that. But now we can go ahead and trace the ribs onto the floor piece. So I made my cuts. And the great thing about working with aluminum is you can make the outside cuts here 
and then just fold this inside one over multiple times and the aluminum will just break just like that real simple to work with aluminum all right that piece is done let's go throw it back in the boat and see how it fits how do we do how did we do i'm going to knock off a few edges Okay, so I got all the ribs cut on this four piece. I'm happy with that. And I also cut off five eighths from the top. Let's see how she fits. Ah, oh, freaking perfect. Are you kidding me? All right, so that is exactly what I wanted. It is sitting on this lip right here. So that is perfect. I'm freaking stoked. So now any water that drops off from here, hit this, go down into the crack, run into the back of the boat. So I'm gonna cover all this with foam and then even the floor with foam as well. But first I need to weigh this and see how much it weighs now that it's all cut down. 2.6 pounds for that one little piece. All right, so there is the floor of the rod locker done. It's gonna look real good with the foam. Gonna have foam here, foam, well, there's gonna be a wall here, but it'll be foam, 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 just stacked with foam, foam over there. I'll probably leave this how it is just cause these ribs will be a pain in the butt to do anything with. I'm not gonna cut that piece out. I'm just gonna leave it on because I don't think it will sit on top of that. I think it will be the perfect fit if I just left that on. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this one here. Okay, let's hope this fits first try. All right, so I was trying to fit in this piece and I have a problem. I realized that I made the template before I added in this piece. So this piece is going to be blocking that. I may throw this piece behind this piece here, but the thing is, it's a pretty tight fit. I still think it's too big though. Let's go on the back side. It looks too big. Maybe not. Hmm. Well, that actually looks perfect. I wanted this on the inside, but honestly, it's not that big of a difference. I'm going to be doing pour foam. So it needs to be able to withstand the pour foam. For this template, I'm definitely gonna have to make a slot in it. So it goes under this support here. Butt that up right there. All right, I can live with that. The foam will hide all these little cracks and whatnot. All right, so after five minutes of thinking, I'm actually gonna be keeping this on this side and I'm gonna be throwing another piece of angle on this side. So it's gonna start here and go all the way across to over there. So that is gonna help hold that in place. Now I need to draw the circles for the rods. So I'm gonna hold this down where it needs to be and trace out this four over here. This is a dry erase marker, so. Now we need the bottom of this angle we have our space to put the nine holes. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it up. Okay, I'm gonna go off that one, I think. Two inch circle, see? Oh crap, that might not work. Come on. Come on, man. This is like one, two, three inches. I can work with that. All right, so I got the rod tube holes drew up and it looks pretty good. It's all square, did it first try. I'm happy about that but I'm definitely gonna stick with nine. It looks good, it's nice and even. I got asked in the comment why I'm not using the golf tubes. They are way lighter, but they're just not as strong. I mean, the golf tubes are like probably that big around too. Very small and my rod tips are pretty big. So Okuma has some pretty big rod guides. And at first, if I was gonna do the rod like back here or wherever here, those rod tubes would have been way too short. It wouldn't have worked out and it would have hit my rod tips. 
So I went with the bigger ones. Also, this is a 14 by 36 John boat, still pretty small, but it's not so small where you have to worry that much about the weight. 20 pounds is not much weight. I mean, their golf tubes probably would have been like maybe five pounds at the most, but it's just not that big of a difference for this boat. If I was doing a 10 footer or a 12 footer, I would definitely use the golf tubes. But since this is a bigger boat, somewhat bigger, the uh, PVC pipes will be perfectly okay. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and drill these out because I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and punch out all these holes. Make sure it's all straight. It's probably not that big of a deal, but... So there is the piece with all the holes cut out. Looks pretty freaking good. You drop that into place right about there. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting a brace going across from here to there. So we need this. So I'm noticing that these are starting to get really hard to get in. Usually I would go slanted, get it in, it's in place, but this bar is already here. So this is getting really hard. I may need to make this a little smaller just to be able to get it in. All right, we can finally put this hinge in place and it will stay. This one wants to come over here, but this one's turning. So I need to check the square of this one. It might be off. Gotta make sure everything is square. You're basically working with a whole bunch of squares. I mean, they're rectangles, but you get what I'm saying. Square, 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 square. Everything on the framing is a square and you want it to be perfect. If it's not perfect, when you go to make your boxes and your boxes are square, you're gonna have stuff hanging over the ledge because your boat's not square. All right, so there it is. It is not square. This gap is bigger over here, so I'm gonna undo this rivet. I think what I did was I pushed this brace this way to line up with this. So there wasn't a big gap right here, but can't have that. There's gonna have to be a gap right here or something, but this has to be straight. Yeah, that was just me trying to close this gap, but it's not gonna work. The gap has to be there. Once again, I'm gonna make sure it's all square. Okay, so on that side we have a wall here. I wonder if I'll have a wall here. It's gonna be electrical, batteries, all on this side. Trolling motor here. Fish finders, all the wires will be coming down here. Is this wall interchangeable? Kinda, yeah. Show is. What I think I'm gonna do is and close this on this wall. That way I have the gap there and then I can pull this sheet back out when I'm done with the gap. That way if I want to put a wall here in the future, I'll have that gap. But the main thing is I don't want to close the gap on this so make sure that's in. Okay. I probably will close that off with a wall. It just looks better. All right, we got that brace put up. We can get rid of this wall over here. Oh, I'm not gonna need these cutouts, so I'm gonna leave those in and it should fit perfect. I didn't wanna cut this out, but now I wanna cut it out. <laughs> 
I got it traced. Let's go ahead and cut it out and put it in place. Alright, got that piece cut out. Oh, it did it so clean with the hole. Well, I wanted the red facing this way, but I guess I screwed the pooch on that one. I flipped it over so it would uh, come out right, but... Oh, I must have had the uh, template flipped the wrong way too. Dang it! <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, oh well, not a big deal. All right, all right, all right. So this is the leftover piece from that brace I just added up there, but I'm gonna be able to use this back here. So I'm gonna add this about right here inside this, these two pieces here, and then I'm gonna add the hinge to that. And that will be the hinge for this lid here. So I was, during this whole project, I've been talking about adding another lid this size over this box just to make it all symmetrical, but I got a comment and this guy was right. If I ever need to take out the gas tank, there's no way I could because the lid's too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the lid this size here. That way I can open it up and take everything out if I ever need to. If I ever spool gas, I need to clean it out. So uh, the gas tank is gonna have to come out. So change the plans with the lid size, but it won't be a big deal. Here is how it's looking with the two walls up. It's looking all divided, looking good. Now I can go ahead and add another piece of aluminum here. So it's gonna connect it there and then come over here, connect to this. I need to add a piece here as well. So I need roughly 39 inches. All right, so my GoPro was just being stupid, so I don't know what was all filmed, but I got this piece here cut. Got the hole drilled out, and then I just got this hole here countersunk. That should do it. Let's go ahead and get this piece attached. Now we need to make, oh crap, I still need to make a piece coming from here to here. You know what, I was gonna add that here, but I might as well just go ahead and add one all the way across, right? I mean, I might need it, so. Might as well. And I have the piece sitting here, perfect size already, so. All right, so we got that done. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and throw this one back on. All right, so my GoPro stopped recording, but I got this put on and I got this brace put up as well. So that is where I'm pretty much gonna be boxing off all of the rods for the rod locker in this space here. But we got these two walls put on. We got this support put up and we got the rod locker four put in. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits for this video, but guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.